Once upon a time, there was a princess who lived in the co-ops in the Bronx. And her best friend's name was Brenda. And her dog's name was Nothing. dad were the king and queen of Long Island. From her apartment she had a beautiful view of the city. She could see the neighborhood below her window. Several blocks away the park where she liked to walk nothing. And in the distance, she could see the tall buildings of the city. And at night, they would glow with a million lights. And in her kitchen, she had teas and spices from all over the world. This was a regular day for our princess. And she woke up and got dressed to take nothing for a walk around the neighborhood. And she got back and got ready for work. princess worked at an art gallery in the city where people would come and she would show them the painting and sculptures that were there. So she left nothing at home, and got on the train that took her down to where the art gallery was. And when she got there, everyone said hello because everyone loved the princess. But she was also very good at her job and was proud of that. She had studied art and learned all about the different techniques and styles. And she had actually met many of the artists whose work were in the gallery. And could describe to the people who came in how they were made. loved her job. After she had been working for a while, and it was almost time for lunch, who do you think appeared? at the door to the gallery, it was her mom, the queen of Long Island. Hi, princess, how are you doing today? She said, and the princess said, fine. Do you mind if I take you out to lunch today? And it was the right time, it wasn't a problem. This is something that the queen did for the princess every once in a while when she was in the city. So they went down the street to one of their favorite restaurants and had a sandwich and a salad and talked about the king. After 
lunch, the princess went back to work and spoke to many people and even sold a piece of art. And took the train back home to her neighborhood in the Bronx. She took nothing for another walk, a long walk, and came back home and made some dinner and used the spices and brewed some tea, called her friend Brenda to describe her day. It was just a regular day. Then when the time was right, she got ready and she went to bed, excited about what the next day would bring. <laughs> 